What up YouTube, this is Officer Whitelaw and I'm back here with another amazing video. So check this out. Today I'm in East Patrol and I'm at an amazing event. And uh, look who just walked up on me here. So I have here Hector Solario, okay? We're gonna talk to Hector and see what this event is about. You know, what's going on? Why did he put this on? Some of the motivation behind that. So let's hear from Hector. All right, Hector. So what do we have going on here today? I just went to the, the boss play soccer be part of the community and let the people how important to your life to play soccer, play any sport, it's the way for the travel. Okay. We don't need travel no more. We yeah. tired with travel. So we want to keep the boys busy and this and the game and soccer and uh, and it's so beautiful. See these people coming and coming and coming. Look at it. Now now is my time to you <laughs> too. Community is the good thing and uh, this is really what I like it to to support the best I can, not to make money, is to really support the boys, support the boys and girls. And anybody want to play soccer and anybody want to be here, come on, we, we invite you, let's come over, let's keep going together. And I, I love the KCP day, for real, I love it. And you know, when people speak things about the KC and it's not true, I'm not support it. I always told, told them to the truth. No speed, run things only the police. Everybody made mistakes, I made mistakes, everybody made mistakes. But please, remember, Everything is for some reason, community. And this moment is the community. Thank you for your time and thank you for everything, sir. Alright guys, so check this out. We're gonna meet up with Officer Gordillo, who is uh, one of the CIOs, which is a community interaction officer. He works right here in the East community, and he had a great part in putting this whole thing together. We're gonna sit here and we're gonna talk to him, see what this is all about, see why this is important from his perspective. So Officer Gordillo, yeah. man, uh, yeah. what's important about this event? Yeah, man, I mean, just look around. I mean, you can just, just look around, just look at the video. I mean, you have everybody coming together, you know. This is a bunch of businesses, a bunch of vendors. Just everybody, different walks of life. You know, we work here, we we live here, we we play out here. We're all in this together in one point or another, you know. So the idea was to come together as a, as a community, brainstorm ideas, and let's have an event for the community, you know. So me, uh, Brad, uh, Hector, and Francisco, we, we got together and we, we started brainstorming. And it kind of just came together, and this is the first of many uh, of, uh, of events to come like this. And I think it's pretty good. We're gonna the idea is to kind of turn the table, you know. The on the flyer it says kids, community, and commitment. You know, in any community you're in, you want to have a commitment for your kids. You know, and I think once you do that at an early age, you get them involved in something like soccer, just get them busy with something. I think it'll help them change their mindset that they don't have to be out here doing shenanigans. You know. Get them busy with soccer, get them busy with teamwork, how to communicate with others, and it's gonna help them out to be a better person when they grow up. So that's pretty much the mindset behind all of it. All right, man, I appreciate you. Yeah, bro. Hope you Absolutely. enjoy today. Thanks, bro. Okay. 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 Man, this is an event that you 
wish you had been at. I mean, there's great food. I got some nachos, great people. Like I'm enjoying myself. I'm gonna sit here. I'm gonna taste one of these nachos for you. Everybody been talking about how good they are, but we're gonna see real quick. Oh man. Yeah, if you're not here, you should have been here. Um, next time this thing goes on, you gotta come out. Cause uh, I'm having a good time. Thing? No, yo, not to no. Yo, yo. He, he wants to say something? <laughs> This event is sponsored by. Cuando yo diga el nombre, can I say the names? Yo. yo. He, when he says the name. Okay. Cuando yo diga el nombre. When he says the name. Todos aplauden porque la gente colaboró por este evento. Please clap your hands because the people collaborated for this event. Lo primero que hay que aplaudir es para. Lo primero que hay que aplaudir es para. The first sponsor is. Los policías. The police officers. Aplauso para. Oh. Y ojalá la lluvia no tenga que trabajar. Hopefully the rain lets us work. <laughs> Él es, y es organizador de esto. Is he organizer of this? Para mí, for me, es el mejor. He's the best. Pero, you too. guys so we've met Hector Solorio senior now we're gonna meet junior all right so he's gonna talk to us about his vision with his father how they came to this event how this thing came to be and some of the things that they're doing to keep pushing the community forward so, uh, what was the motivation behind this event so there's there's four groups that are a part of this this uh, event and they've been Oyama a16 SFC, Rogoku Soccer Academy, and KCPD. Uh, all four of us coming together and wanting to raise awareness for the community and really giving back to, to these kids uh, that live in this part of the, the neighborhood through through the game of soccer and allowing them to, to play the game and be with their friends and give that social part of the game and the community aspect to the kids is, is our mission, right? It's motivating for us to see kids here happy joyful uh, having a good time with their friends uh, because we believe that one one more kid playing the game is one less kid on the streets uh, involved with violence uh, in any type of gang activity so seeing all these kids here is really motivating for for myself and for all the people that are a part of this and it only motivates us more to continue to do more events like this Alright guys, so check this out. I'm back here with another great community member that had a hand in putting this great event together. Uh, so I'm going to introduce him here, let him introduce himself, and he'll talk a little bit about his motivation for this event and his hand in this whole thing and what makes this whole thing so special. So uh, what's your name, sir? My name is Brad Leonard. I'm the founder of Rogoku Soccer Academy, which is a new private school in the area for, for boys that are very interested in the game of soccer. Alright, and so uh, what's your part in this whole event today? So, as a new school, part of our uh, part of what we need to do is canvas the community and see what those needs and, and concerns are. So, after speaking with several members of the community, uh, not only community leaders, uh, religious leaders, uh, students, parents, uh, basically anybody that would sit down and meet with me, uh, we quickly found that a, a big need in this community is is really programming in the area. Um, we know that that when uh, especially young boys uh, don't have that programming, uh, where they don't have something to do, when they don't keep busy, especially in those summer months, um, 
they, they tend to get themselves in a little bit of trouble. <laughs> so what we wanted to do is, is partner with a lot of these community members that you see today and then uh, make sure that we, we provide something fun that also showcases their talents. Um, we, we know in the Northeast the game of soccer is huge. You can't go far without hearing about it, without talking about it. Um, and, and everybody has something to offer through the game of soccer. Uh, maybe they enjoy watching it, they enjoy playing it, they enjoy talking about it. So getting all those people together, uh, we're hoping that we can build connections uh, that span not only across age groups, uh, but, but across cultures, across religions, uh, uh, across neighborhoods. Um, so, so the main goal here is just to pull everybody together. Next after him. First off, we're, and, we're very happy okay. to and luego, accept and then, to school. I know it's something that you've been excited him. about. And luego, we're, and then, we're more excited about it than him, you are. I luego, guarantee you that. Then him. Uh, right. But in Vamos Japanese culture, this is called and a shide. And many cultures have similar symbols to this. But in Japanese culture, you put this in kind of an entryway, maybe like a door or something. What it does is it okay. keeps the good energy in, and it keeps from the bad, the bad energy <laughs> no going hacer, no in. Okay. In So we want to give this to you as a symbol <laughs> to say that like, when okay. you come into our goal play, we've got your back. Uh, we're going to take care of you. Uh, whatever One. your goals are, those are our goals. Two. We're going to do everything we can to get you where you want to go. Okay? Well, congratulations. Man. Welcome. We're excited for you. Oh. Congratulations. Oh. Good name. Yeah. Let's take a picture. Oh. Very good. Yeah, very one good. Second, one good job. Good job. Yeah. This, this is my brother, okay? This is called stay, a shide. Stay quiet, stay quiet. And then, if you ever go to Japan, you see them everywhere. Hey, and what they do is they signify that you're entering kind of a sacred space, um, that the good energy stays in that space, and the bad energy is not, not welcome in that space. So we want to give it to our students as a way to signify that we're going to take care of them. No, you know, no, to no, us, no, they're no, a sacred no, individual. No, we're going to do everything no, we can. No, no, uh, no, 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 no. To take care of them, take care of their family, and take care of their okay. their entire situation. Oh man, that's awesome. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. So here's a few more community members that I want to sit down, have a conversation with them, and see just their part in this because this has been a great event. So check us out. What's your name, ma'am? I am Reverend Mindy Fugarino. I'm the pastor at Independence Boulevard Christian Church, uh, Independence Avenue in Gladstone. And um, we are home of the MICA Ministries on Monday night where we feed over 500 meals every week and give clothing and help with stimulus. And we also host Care Beyond the Boulevard Free Medical Clinic. And um, you're gonna hear more from them in a minute. And I'm, we're here today because Rogoku Soccer Academy is also um, has their home at Independence Boulevard Christian Church, and uh, the leader, Brad, and myself, and several other organizations decided we need to start building community together so that we can work together to address some of the barriers that are in people's ways to meeting their goals, and so that we can um, really change some of the cycles of, of violence and poverty around. So we are called Ripples for Change, and that's you know people from all different organizations, I couldn't name them all. Um, some are people of faith, some are secular communities, but we're just excited about that. Um, I also am a co-chair of the Becoming Beloved community team for the Christian Church Disciples of Christ in Greater Kansas City, and um, they're co-sponsors of this as well, and just basically just trying to do anything that um, works for racial and economic equity. So that's a lot of different groups that are out here, so yeah, thank so you. So if people wanted to join with you all, and your mission and what you're trying to do here, where would they reach you at? 
Um, you can either call Independence Boulevard Christian Church or you can um, email Ripples for Change KC, all one word, at gmail.com. So, what's your name, ma'am? My name is KK Osman. I'm a family nurse practitioner and founder of Care Beyond the Boulevard. Okay. And Care Beyond the Boulevard is a street medicine team. We provide health care to the homeless and to the uninsured and underserved um, throughout the whole Kansas City metro. We started five years ago um, inside Independence Boulevard Christian Church in conjunction with Micah Ministries, and we've grown to currently we have five clinics a night a week. I'm sorry, seven clinics a week, five nights of the week. Monday nights we're at Independence Boulevard Christian Church. On Tuesdays we have a big green bus that we drive around and we go into encampments to provide health care to people who are experiencing homelessness. Wednesdays we have a bus route and a van that do those the same thing that we do on Tuesday nights, just in different areas. Thursday, we have a clinic at Cherith Brook in the Northeast, and then on Saturday, we have another clinic at Independence Boulevard Christian Church, as well as a clinic in the afternoon at Christine's Place on Independence Boulevard. So we have um, fully licensed healthcare providers who are there to provide assessments and um, diagnose and treat people who um, are otherwise lost in the system. Like, you know, it's really difficult if you're homeless or you're not insured to find health care. And our goal is to provide compassionate health care to everyone that we come across. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm tired now. It's been a long day. I mean, I think this event started at like 9 o'clock this morning. It's now almost 1 o'clock. So, as you can see, the community has taken the time to come together and make something awesome happen. We have this huge event where many kids were able to come out and enjoy themselves and the police department and everybody just coming together and working together to change the narrative. Um, so I had a blast. I hope you guys have had a blast. So remember, as I always say, to like, comment, share, and subscribe. We look forward to doing more of this. We look forward to being able to go to more events and you guys seeing just how we do in Kansas City. Appreciate you.